Hello, I'm Jeff Cavins, and today we're looking at the readings for the 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Let me ask you a question before we look at the readings this week. Right now, in your life, what are you doing with what God has given you? Now, what I mean by that is that God has given you a number of gifts. He's given you a number of opportunities. Perhaps you have finances. Uh, you have a great education. Whatever it is that you have, what are you doing with it? And are you doing anything with it in connection to the kingdom of God? I think it's a good connection because in the United States, growing up in America, uh, most of us kind of think about getting ahead and getting an education so that we can buy a house, have a nice car, and raise our children, send them to a nice school. But oftentimes we lose track of this idea that what we have is really for the purpose of the kingdom of God and building up his kingdom and honoring him. And I want to look at the readings this week from Matthew chapter 25 and verses 14 through 30. That's Matthew chapter 25, 14 through 30. It talks about individuals who have certain measures of talents. Now, when we talk about a talent, we're not talking about like singing or dancing or anything like that. A talent is actually a measurement of weight. It's a measurement of weight. And one talent is worth about 15 years wages, okay? So it says, for it will be as when a, a man going on a journey called his servants and entrusted to them his property. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability. And then he went away. He who had received the five talents went at once and traded with them. And he made five talents more. So he, he had been given a certain value and responsibility. He went out and he did quite well with it. And he traded and he doubled his money, so to speak. So also he who had the two talents made two talents more. But he who had received the one talent went and dug in the ground and hid his master's money. Now after a long time, the master of those servants came and settled accounts with them. And he who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five talents more, saying, Master, you delivered to me five talents. Here I have made five talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter the joy of your master. And then it goes on, it goes on a little bit further, and it goes through the, the other individuals. And what we learn from this, what we see is that those who had a certain amount of talents and did something with it were rewarded with even more and entered into the joy of the master. But the person who hid it and didn't do anything with their talents, what they had was taken away. And needless to say, they did not enter into the joy of their master. One of the things that I have learned over the years is that in the gifts that God has given me, in the abilities that God has given me, whether it be finance or talent or whatever, if I use it for him, there is a joy that comes in my life. I'm reminded of what the Old Testament prophet said. He said, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And if you will use what God has given you for his kingdom, you will enter into the joy of Jesus. But if you're stingy and you are fearful and you don't want to take a step out of the boat and you don't use the things that you have for his kingdom and for his glory, you will not experience that joy. There's a key to understanding everything that we have in our lives that really sets us free and that is this. You own nothing. You own nothing. You are one who takes care of what has been given to you. So you, the, when you take care of what God has given to you, you're not really the owner. You're the one that is watching over it. And that frees us up to make decisions that will honor him rather than putting ourselves first. For this week, I'd like you to think about what has God given you? What has God given you in terms of real talents? What has God given you in terms of an education, opportunities, wisdom, and insight? And ask yourself the question, this week, am I using that or did I bury it? Or am I using it only for myself? Are you lacking joy in your life? 
take what God has given to you, put it to work for him. And I'm telling you, you'll enter the, into the joy of your master. God bless you.